So before I show you guys how to make your very own law of cosines calculator program to find both angles and sides, I first want to show you how it works. So let's execute cosine. And let's first say we want to find a side. And side A, 34. And let's say side B is 32. And angle C is about 78. And there we go, we find 41.56. So now let's try our angle. Our angle. And let's say side A this time is about 12.7 and side B is 23, and our side C is 19.3. So angle C, 57.04. Hello guys, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make your very own calculator program to find angles and sides using the law of cosines. Law of cosines is really useful for any high school geometry class or any other math class you might be taking. And as always, you can pause the video and take a look at the key press history below. All right, so let's start by naming this program. And remember that the name cannot be more than seven letters long. And I'm going to go ahead and call this program cosine. All right, so the first thing we want to do is clear the home screen whenever this program is run. So to do that, go to program and then under I slash O, it will be the eighth option, clear home. And next, we want to create something called a menu. So again, program alpha D. And a menu is the starting point of our program. And it'll give the user two options, either to find an angle using a law of cosines or find a side using the law of cosines. So inside our menu, let's first ask a question. So what do you need to find what do you need to find and comma and now our first option remember is our side so our side and this is our first option so we're going to put a one and now we can create our second option and that is our angle option our angle option and this is option number two. All right, now that we've finished making our menu, we can start programming for finding a side using the law of cosines. So start on a new line, go to program, and it will be the ninth option, label, label one. And everything under label one will be our program for finding a side. So under label one, we're going to ask the user for input. And what we're going to ask the user is for side, side A. So our side A, and now we're going to store the input. So whatever the user said was their input for side A, we're going to store that as a variable. And it has to be a letter, so I'm going to go with A for simplicity. And now we do the same thing for side B, because we need both side A and side B for our formula. So side B. And again, another variable. So let's go with B. And then finally, we need to ask for angle C. So angle, angle C. And I'm going to store the input for angle C as Z. Now we can take our inputs for side A, side B, and angle C and use them in our formula for finding the side length using the law of cosines. So the formula goes as the square root of side A squared. And side A is, we said, was our variable A. So just A squared, A squared, plus B squared, minus... 2ab, 2ab, and this multiplied by the cosine, so just cosine of angle C, and that is our z. And close the parentheses, and now we need to store all of this in another variable, and since it has to be a letter, I'm going to go with C. 
But first, we need to use this button here called STO with an arrow, and that just means store. So store as C. All right, so now we have our answer, and our answer is just whatever C is, but we need to show our answer to the user. So to do that, we go to program, and then under I slash O, the third option, display. And we need to tell the user what exactly we're displaying. So we're displaying side, side C, and comma, C. And now finally, what we need to do is go back to program and alpha G and stop. And what this does is it'll stop our program after we show our user our side, which is just C, so that we don't run into any problems when the user chooses to find an angle. So now we can start programming for our angle. So let's first create another label. So label should be option number nine. And this time label two, because our angle was option number two in our menu. So label two will have the program for our angle. And now again, just like we did above, we're going to ask for input. And we're going to ask for side A, side A, and again, store as a variable. And we're also going to ask for side B. So it's pretty much the same as above so far. So side B. And store as B. And now the change we're going to make is instead of asking for angle C, instead of asking for angle C, we're going to ask for side C. So side C. And this time I'm going to store side C as the variable C. And now we can start making our formula for finding a angle using the law of cosines. And it is different from the formula we used above. So it goes as the cosine negative one of and open parentheses again, a squared, a squared plus b squared minus c squared. So c squared and in close parentheses divided by, so all of this divided by open parentheses again, 2ab, so 2ab, 2ab, and then close the parentheses. And now we're going to store all of this again using this STO arrow and store as the letter variable z. Finally, all we need to do is display our answer. So program and the third option display and we're displaying angle C. So angle C and then comma and Z is our final answer. So just comma Z. And there you have it, a law of cosines program to find both angles and sides. Be sure to check out our other videos and you can support us by subscribing and leaving a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time on the Axon Files.